Hey, Sadie and Jose, welcome to Consumer 11.8. Actually, very easy lesson after all that information that you had to digest yesterday. What all this lesson is saying is called the stock broker. Okay, the stock broker is the person that you go to if you wanna buy stock from a company. So everything that we talked about yesterday, if you say like, oh, that is for me, I wanna buy stock for a company, you cannot go directly to McDonald's and ask them to buy stock, okay? You need to go to someone that is licensed. They have a license to buy and sell stocks. Like I, I've mentioned that before. And so obviously you have to pay that person as well. That's your intermediary person, okay? You can do that directly with somebody um, that sells just stocks or you can do it with like a financial advisor that's licensed in selling stocks, selling bonds, and setting up a portfolio and get you money in different diverse investments, okay? But either way, you're gonna have to pay a fee, okay? If you don't, if there's some random rare company that says, no, you don't have to go through a broker, you're gonna buy a stock called a no load stock, okay? So instead of reading these two paragraphs, I'm just telling you the information there. No load stock is a stock that um, the company will sell to you directly without a broker, okay? But if you do need a broker, which is the most common, the stock broker, you're either gonna buy in round lots or buy in odd lots. Round lots are more than 100 shares, okay? And in multiples of 100. So 100, 200, 300, 400, those are your round lots. If you buy in, in like let's say 103 or, hey Josh, or um, 98, 95, some random, number that's not a multiple of 100, it's gonna be called an odd lot, okay? And the only reason why you need to know that is because there's different charges according to what you're buying, okay? And you can see by the charges that they're gonna charge more if you buy an odd lot. They would prefer you to buy in multiples of 100, okay? So if you look at the table right here, you have the brokerage fees for stocks on round lots and on odd lots. So how do you use this table? That's what we're gonna be going over in the model problem. So look at model problem number one. Nat Britt Biggs purchased 400 shares of no Euro oil at $15 per share. So automatically we wanna know how much he spent in all. That's 15 times 400. He's gonna be buying $6,000 worth of shares. Did he buy round lots or did he buy um, odd lots? He bought round lots because it's in multiples of 100, okay? He bought four round lots of it, right? So he spent $6,000, but how much does he have to pay the broker? That's what they're about to ask. How much did the stock cost Mr. Biggs? Well, the stock cost him whatever that he just paid plus his brokerage fee, right? So now we need to figure out the brokerage fee. Look at the table. 6,000 is in the range of the 3,000 to 10,000 right here, right? So you gotta look at this one right here, it's in round lots. It says that the charge then is $59 plus 1% of everything over 3,000. Okay, so automatically he paid $59. We know that, plus something else. Because automatically if you're gonna buy $6,000 worth of stock, you're gonna pay $59. Okay, plus the 1% over 3,000. Well, how much is over 3,000? Well, six minus 3,000, he bought 3,000 over 3,000, right? To get 6,000. So now he's gonna have to multiply 3,000 times 0 0.01, which means that his answer is gonna be 30 there, which is what he's gonna spend here, which means that he spent $6,089 on this stock, okay? Because this right here is the brokerage fee, they call that. Okay, look at model problem number two. Phyllis Hyman purchased 84 of Boeing at 68 and a half per share. Okay, so we can multiply that quickly. First of all, is this a round lot or a, an odd lot? It's an odd lot, okay? So 68 and a half, that's 68.5 times 84 which is gonna give you 5,754, okay? That's how much the stock was then plus the brokerage fee, right? So we need to go 5,754 is gonna be in that same price range, so that's 59 plus one, per, wait, pardon, 75, because it's a, um, an odd lot, 75 plus 1.5% over 3,000, okay? So first of all, we add automatically the 75, and then we need to subtract this by 3,000. She bought 2,754 over the 3,000 times 0 0.015, right? 
2,754 times 0 0.015 is $41.31. So you add all three of those up together and that's gonna give you $5,870.31. So this is her brokerage fee for buying those 84 shares. Okay, look at model problem number three. Josiah Murdoch purchased 140 shares of Lock, ooh, Lock and Martin at 103 and 3 fourths per share, so it's $103.75 and 75 cents times 140. When you multiply those two together, you're gonna get. Oh, look what they do here, okay. Hmm. Look, when you have 140, this is what you do. That's 100 of a round lot and 40 of an odd lot. Okay, which they don't tell you until you do this model problem, okay? So 140 is gonna be 100 of a round lot, subtract out what you can from the round lot, and then 40 of the odd lot. So first, we're gonna multiply this by 100, okay? So you have 10,375. Then you're gonna multiply the other one, $103.75 times 40, okay? That's gonna be 4,000. 150. Okay, now let's work with this one first. We had 10,375 for the round lot. We look at the quadro. That's going to be over 10,000, which is automatic 129, right? Plus 0.5% of the amount over 10,000. Well, what's over 10,000? 375. So we go 375 times 0 0.005. That's 0.5 percent, right? And that is going to be $1.88. Ooh, <laughs> not a lot on that one, right? So we're going to add that $1.88 there. And you're going to end up getting 10,000. Let's add it here. 10,375 plus 129. Plus 1.88. So this part of it, this round lot, costs 10,505.88. Okay? So now let's go over to this one. 4,150 for the odd lot. So we'll do your quadro. 4,150 is going to be the one that we've been working in. That's 75 plus 0.105% over 3,000. So I'm going to add automatically the 75. Then this is minus 3,000, which is going to be 1,150 times 0 0.015, 1,150 times 0 0.015 is $17.25, okay? Then you add that together, 4,150 plus 75 plus $17.25, that's going to be 4,242.55. Then we add these both together. So plus the 10,505.88, the $14,748.13 is going to be what you pay for that stock. Just remembering what you need to do to divide it out in between the round lot and the odd lot, okay? So if you look at number one, your answer should be $32 for the brokerage fee. Number 13, your brokerage fee is going to be $100, but then your total cost is $7,604. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Bye.